your daily tank of business for an infant shower. Hey, folks, how's it going? Check out Charging Hot Wheels. What's going on everybody? James with That's Right Lawn Care. I'm just now about to pull up to these six yards in a row that I've got. Uh, three of them I did aeration overseed on and we're gonna take a look and see what they are looking like. So we're pulling past the first one and it looks like we got some green coming up. So that looks good. Take a look at that. It's coming up. So that one will We'll probably be putting a cut on it too. And this one we did one on. Now this is a very thick zoysia yard, but I see a bunch coming up already. So that one's definitely in need of a cut anyways. So we're gonna put a cut on it. And this one here, doesn't really look like it needs it, but she said, go ahead and come back. <clears throat> I got a couple over here that we skipped and I'm just gonna pull back pull back around and park. Um, we skipped this one, so it's been a couple of weeks since we've cut it. But definitely some leaves down. Definitely gonna be putting a cut on it. And then this one we skipped. It could use some. And then we also did aeration seed on this one. And we got some grass coming up. It looks like we got some leaves to be cleaning up. Definitely gonna be mowing all six of these today. All right, guys. So we just pulled up at these six right here. I'm about to get out and start. But before I do, I wanted to get the get the video started and uh, chat with y'all for a little while. So today is Monday. I hope y'all are having an awesome Monday. Let's get pumped on this Monday. Speaking of pumped, I just pumped some gas. Wanted to talk to y'all about some gas prices. So what are y'all paying for gas? Um, of course y'all saw what i run 87 no ethanol a lot of people will ask well, why don't you run 89 91 93 well really doesn't matter to me because as long as i'm running no ethanol i feel i feel good you know about putting those in my small engines my mixed fuel no no a lot of people are running uh you know ethanol and and some of their mowers and stuff definitely not in i wouldn't run it in small engines I don't even like to run it in mowers or anything like that. But I know a lot of people run them in mowers and just say, you know, you're refueling every other day. So it's not really going to mess. Well, it's just kind of a peace of mind for me to know that I'm putting, you know, I'm not having to worry about, do I need to be putting additives in there? Do I need to be putting, um, you know, uh, octane booster or something like that in there? Um, really doesn't matter to me. Just as long as I know I'm putting 100% gasoline in my mower, 100% gasoline in my trimmers and blowers and stuff like that. It's just kind of a peace of mind to me. But as y'all saw, I was paying 259 for um, 100% 87 octane. And um, I'm curious as to what y'all are paying. If y'all are running, uh, you know, 87, 89, 91, 93 uh, ethanol free or not, uh, what do y'all usually putting in your mowers what are you putting in your trimmers and stuff like that for me it's always been no ethanol you know ever since you know back before i quit and then started back up i was running ethanol free and it just you know it gave me a peace of mind especially you know if i was going to leave that mower sitting for so long but right now i mean it's october end of october about to go into november i still got grass coming up um for the most part that mower will not get started for about a month you know it, it won't be going out and mowing but i've got jobs that come up during december january february you know to to chop some leaves up or to you know whatever it may be if i've got somebody who wanted ryegrass or something you know i might be putting a cut down here cut down there I actually had a customer say you know we might call you throughout the winter just because we do have some stuff that comes up and stuff like that so um you know my mower is not going to be sitting for so long and i'm not going to have to worry about putting any kind of additives or uh, 
or winterize it. So, you know, in this area, in my area, and uh, customer base and stuff like that, I don't have to worry about um, winterizing my equipment, winterizing my machines. The blowers are gonna be used nonstop. Um, trimmers even come up sometimes during some, some clearing stuff. So for the most part, everything's getting used, getting a decent use on it year round. Um, so I'm not having to worry about winterizing equipment. I'm not have to worry about fuel additives or anything like that. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on these six yards. Uh, I'm gonna bring along, didn't get to really show you well on that last video, but this is the clamp. This thing is like Jaws. I think that's the actual name of it too, Jaws or something. But uh, it is mighty powerful. I clipped it onto the mower. Uh, I even clipped it on first use on it. I was just like, whatever. I'm going to clip it onto that trimmer back there and uh, go down the road with it and see how it does. And it held up, luckily. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get started on these six yards and uh, try and get some footage. See y'all here in a few. Everywhere you go in Chattanooga right now is traffic. Traffic, traffic, traffic. This truck just blocked all traffic and he's gonna get stuck trying to go up under here. Wow. Good job. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Hope y'all are having an awesome Monday. Um, heading off, got one more yard left and be done for the day. So I'm pretty happy about that. Hope y'all are having an awesome Monday. I need to find a place to clip y'all. Look, I got. I got this clip here. I got this one here. I got y'all on the uh, the Jaws, the Jaws clip. So, anyways, I got one more left. Uh, it's a yard I did an aeration on a couple of weeks ago. We're gonna take a look at it, see how the grass is coming in, see if it's good enough to mow. If it's good enough to put a cut on, we're gonna put a cut on it. I didn't clip you from the mower. Guys, look how green and luscious this is. It's great. This is usually this this part kind of stays a little wet. Um, but it is tall, thick right there in the center. It's kind of up through that way, 
we haven't had too much rain. We're supposed to get some rain this week, so that'll kick in a lot of these uh, seeded yards. But <clears throat> this one has come along pretty nice. There's still some, some areas that needs to thicken up, and it will, of course, because uh, as of right now, this is just newly planted grass. It's not its thick blade, tall fescue that it's gonna be. It's a real thin baby blade that's coming in. Uh, you won't see those uh, thicker blades until later on in the fall, winter, and uh, it really kicks in in the spring. But this is a great sign. I'm glad to see it. I know the customer's gonna be happy with it. So let's put a cut on it. for this video i just got back to the house i'm done for the day uh we were supposed to have some rain this evening and uh, i think it kicked off into tomorrow so my rain day tomorrow um but i know i got a lot of new subscribers to the channel and i just want to come on here and let y'all know that um uh, i got stickers got stickers and uh you got stickers i got stickers we can swap stickers and uh do a sticker swap so I've got a board and I haven't shown it in a while. I'll probably show it in another video on down the road. Uh, just cause I got so much stuff in the shed right now from seed. I bought some, uh, some, a toolbox, a workbench, stuff like that. So that'll also be in a new video. Um, but I'm gonna have to do a little bit of rearranging in that shed before I can get back in there. So everything's pretty much staying on the trailer right now. There's no room in the shed. Um, so if y'all got stickers, if y'all want to swap, Right down in the description, you'll see a P.O. box. You send me a sticker, I'll send you one back to that return address. Or if you wanna reach me on Instagram, let me know you wanna do a sticker swap. We can do one that way. Also, last but not least, I wanna make sure this is aimed the right way so y'all can see it, but uh, got a keychain from JRB Landscaping and Snow Plowing. So James and Melissa Bauer sent me a keychain pretty happy about it. I think they sent out like five keychains or something like that. You had to be like snap snap on their Instagram. They put out something but if you're only following uh, JRB landscaping and snow plowing I believe the one they use the most is uh, they've got two of them. Just figure it out. So uh, I, I'm really not sure which one they use the most. I talked to them on both accounts. Who knows. But we're going to go ahead and end the video right here. That last yard turned out awesome. Uh, I was gonna go through at the end, but the customer actually ended up getting home. So we chatted for a little while, admired the yard, you know, <laughs> said it looked pretty good. So um, there's still some thinner spots in the front and I kind of explained to them, you know, we haven't had too much rain to, you know, get that going yet. So within the next couple of weeks, that'll be coming in nice, especially if we get some rain like we're supposed to tomorrow and Thursday for sure is, is a big percent so i'm gonna have to squeeze in a lot of work this week so i'm probably not gonna have another video until maybe thursday if i've got some time off um i'd like to do a little bit of rearranging in the shed so we'll probably get out there and mess around um i'm gonna go ahead and end it right here guys thanks for watching if y'all haven't yet hit that subscribe button shoot me a thumbs up we'll catch you in the next one peace perfect